Hello everyone, I am Pepino here, and uh, if you remember last episode of my Let's Play, I ended by going to sleep, and here I am, it is morning, but it is actually the next morning, because I spent the entire day uh, cutting down all those tons and tons of trees, and uh, I gathered a little bit of clay from that lake, not a ton, because I didn't have much time after I cut down all the trees and I sheared a bunch of the sheep over there and I did all of that so I could create this this is my underground survival pack uh, it's equipped with food torches uh, buckets of water which I will place the water and then eventually fill it with lava to bring back up to the surface hopefully uh, seeds saplings wood um, all these tools, all this stuff that I think I'm going to want going underground. Why am I building that? Well, because uh, we are going to go explore that cave system that I found, and hopefully we will find diamonds. Uh, so, basically, I'm just going to eat breakfast here, and I've got one sword already, but then we'll just... Uh, take this whole chest of materials with us and we are going to go cave diving um what am I gonna want on my hot bar <laughs> let's take uh here this <laughs> and all right, that's that's fine. Whatever. Let's go. Uh, it is actually almost noon on this day. I had to put all this together. Uh, creeper incident there. I repaired it as best I could. And we'll watch out for that lava there. I guess I don't really need too many buckets of lava at the surface. Now that I think about it, I forgot about that little pool. But anyway, let's head into the depths of this cave system and my plan is the reason I'm bringing so many of these supplies is I like building underground bases that can fully sustain me uh, I believe this is the way down to the really deep stuff uh, and so I like to have enough supplies down there that I don't ever need to come up to the surface I obviously will later but enough so that I wouldn't need to let's actually put some more torches like that on my hotbar alright let's light up this area and I'm guessing we're gonna wanna go the other way oh yep creepers Alright, that works. Uh, creeper murder there. Alright. Well, there's a lot of stuff up there. Oh, maybe I can get a record. Nope. Nope had to kill the creeper, so no record. At least not right now. All right. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, there's not too many more things back here. But uh, the reason I'm guessing we're gonna want to go the other way is it looks like this is going more up, and the other way looked like it was going more down. Get over here. Really? That was kind of far for you to blow up, but okay. Fine with me. As long as you don't hurt me. Hmm. Alright. Well, there we go. There's that. Uh, I guess we could take this coal and iron right away. Because probably not going to come back here. Uh, since it's a dead end, I might at some point. But no reason to leave this all here. Um, okay. 
So yeah, the important things uh, you're going to want when you're building a base underground is at the beginning you want lots of logs. And uh, from cutting down all those trees, I got uh, two full stacks of uh, logs plus one extra. Uh, so that was good. So I took a full stack of 64 logs. I took two pickaxes, iron pickaxes, a full set of iron tools, uh, three stacks of torches, and a bow, arrow, uh, seeds, and saplings are important. You need to have all your resources that you can underground. Uh, so make sure to bring those. And I brought buckets of water. Uh, I know you can find water underground a lot of the times, but I'd rather just have it. And then, uh, like I said, I will probably end up filling the buckets up with lava, which I can bring to the surface. And uh, I just like to have a couple buckets of lava sitting around in case anything would come up where I would need them. Skeleton. Two of them. They don't see me. Are there? No, they see me. Yeah. Alright. Got it. Uh, light it up here. Always, I always, uh, light up an area first. Then I go back in mine. And, oh, this is a dead end, too. But that's okay. Because we're going to keep going anyway. Even though it's a dead end, we are going to make our own path now we are going deeper underground this expedition uh, is diamonds or bust I am going to basically do everything I can to find diamonds so let's just get rid of this gravel right away and we'll head down this way thought I heard something guess not uh, so anyway yeah I like having uh, big cavern systems to explore which is why I'm a little disappointed this was a dead end but uh, what are you gonna do so anyway uh, hopefully we can at least uh, find a cavern system deeper underground if we tunnel down for a little ways that's the plan at least it usually works or at least it has for me if you just tunnel down and then dig around you will eventually come to a cavern system uh, and if not you can at least start a nice strip mine or a branch mine it's sometimes called and uh, I can explain that once I get down there. Oh, there's some lava. Let's head down this way now. And uh, the other nice thing about this is I'm getting plenty of cobblestone, which I can then smelt into stone. All right, there's bedrock level. So let's just uh, fill this in. And right there, so that we don't fall in the lava when we come down. And well, what I'm going to want to do, oh, maybe not that way. Let's head this way. Uh, Alright, well, I seem to be in an area that has got a lot of lava. Let's try this way. Oh, looks like, yep, there's some redstone, so that's good. First, a little bit of redstone, except for, uh, we need to get rid of some stuff to carry it, and we'll just get rid of gravel, because I don't need it. I was hoping I would find the caverns, and I could, uh, actually build a little base of sorts underground here before I started mining 
because uh, then I wouldn't be carrying all this stuff. And so, let's see if we can do that. Uh, well, I could even just build a base right down here, I guess. I'll dig out a little room. And this could be my uh, main base of operations underground. Some more redstone. That's good. Alright, let's place this chest right. Uh, let's put it right here. And we can put things like saplings, uh, sugarcane, I brought some. I don't know if I'll actually uh, grow any sugarcane down here. But eggs I brought uh, so that we can hopefully get a chicken population down here. Because that's always a nice source of food underground. Wool I brought just in case I wanted to make anything look cool. Bones again for farming. Uh, string for making bows and stuff if this one would run out. Uh, I doubt it will. Gunpowder I got from killing the creepers. I didn't bring that, but we'll put it. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in the chest anyway. And uh, food we'll put in the chest. And we can put a stack of uh, torches in the chest just for later and some coal alright let's finish making our little underground base now um I think the plan I'll probably uh make this underground base I don't know how far away we are from the entrance to the cave I'm just gonna see again, make sure there's not any like extra paths that I missed uh, on this cave system. Now it looks like this is the end, uh, so I'll just grab this right away. And I heard a spider. Alright. Yeah, there's a spider somewhere. But I don't know where. Not this way, maybe. Uh, let's try this way. I don't know if you can hear that or if my uh, game volume's real low. But I can hear a spider. Maybe it's below us. And a zombie, it sounds like. Maybe there's more caverns in here after all. Alright, not not here, but it sounds louder. Huh. Maybe it's this way. There's there goes one pickaxe. I found some more iron there. Oh that could be it. Ooh, but that means those spiders could be cave spiders.